Welcome everybody to the video. So I'm going to go over an article on Tech Republic. I'll put the link below and give you my commentary. Top 10 programming languages employers want the most. Subheading, the most popular programming languages amongst developers are not always the ones that get them hired. According to Indeed data, indeed.com. So this was published uh, 16th of May, 2019. So let's just get into the list here. Oh no, oh no, number nine, no, just kidding. Okay, so uh, Java, SQL, JavaScript, Python, HTML, CSS. Hey, I teach all the top six except for Java. Maybe I should do a Java course. I remember I did a few videos where I was talking about no SQL versus SQL based databases. And I suggested, I suggested to uh, the chagrin of no SQL fans, like Mongo fans and so on, that SQL was still widely, 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 very important, super popular. So again, according to Indeed.com, one of the big job sites on the interwebs, SQL is the second most in-demand language out there. Kind of proves my point. So Java, of course, huge because of enterprise, which is huge corporations, big legacy apps, there's tons out there. If you know Java, you got work until you're dead. That being said, because of Google's shift towards Kotlin, favoring Kotlin over Java, you're gonna see the Android jobs are gonna be Kotlin for sure going forward. Yes, if you know Java and you're doing Java Android, you got a job for the longest time anyway. The hardest part about writing Android is not necessarily Java, it's understanding Android. So might as well do it in a faster, nimbler language like Kotlin. Remember, speed is the king. Speed kills in development. So Java, SQL, JavaScript, JavaScript, of course, because every web app known to man and beast is written in JavaScript. Well, they have JavaScript at least on the front end and a certain percentage will use JavaScript on the back end. So, you know, there you go. I would guess most of the JavaScript coding has to do with the front end, meaning writing JavaScript code in web browser. So think React, think, well, you get the idea. The usual libraries view. Anyhow, uh, number four, Python. Probably mostly because of data science, data science Machine learning, AI, that's where you see pay, uh, Python. HTML, CSS, I don't know why they call that. It's not really a programming language. HTML, CSS are not programming languages. They are coding languages. They're not programming. But anyway, they're in the top six. They make up the top six. That all makes sense. It's all web apps. Remember, I, said, I say over and over and over again, if you're going to pick any specialization in software development, I would learn the web stack. That's why my primary course is a web stack course and not necessarily a Java course or any other type of course because there's just tremendous amount of work and opportunity in the web stack now and for many, many years to go. So you can start there and then you can go into any specialization that you want. Anyway, so there you go. Pretty cool. So I teach SQL, JavaScript, Python, HTML, CSS. So I teach five of the top six. So let's see, what do we got next? We got C Sharp, which is uh, probably going to be mostly uh, .NET development with C Sharp. Microsoft Tech, cool. C++, C++ is like uh, the super powerhouse language. You're building low level code, code for small devices that have to be super efficient and fast, requires very little memory. That's what you're gonna be doing C++ with. Maybe you're gonna do C++ for game engines, etc. But uh, yeah, if you get into C++ coding, it's a very different beast, a very different thing from building websites and web apps, totally different in the sense that you're really doing de dealing with low level code low level pr low level processes if you like algorithms and efficient code and that's that kind of stuff writing code to to run a toaster or a fridge a fridge or something then c plus plus is your language it's cool number nine ruby i'm just kidding ruby is uh again it's all going to be web apps ruby is all going to be web apps I'm sure it's used in other areas. It is used in other areas, but vast majority is Ruby, Ruby Rails. And then, of course, 10 is uh, PHP in terms of jobs on Indeed. Again, PHP, terrible PHP. I think I can stop with that joke. 
people, I think, are starting to realize now that PHP is not the, it's not PHP three anymore. We're at PHP seven, so big difference. Anyhow, so yeah, so the, these are the top ten most in demand languages on Indeed.com in terms of jobs on this job site. Now, other job sites, you may see a different distribution in uh, Asia, etc. You're probably going to see PHP pushed up higher. If you were in California, you'd probably see Ruby pushed up higher, etc., etc. So it depends where you are. You got to look at all that. So there you go. That's it. The top 10 programming languages employers want the most from Indeed.com. So this is an example of a series that I'm going to be doing on a more regular basis where I just pull up articles on recent news, give you my input, my feedback, my opinion. You're hearing the opinion of somebody who's been writing code for 25 years. So you're going to get the well-seasoned, grizzled nerd's opinion about uh, the subject du jour. Uh, that's the uh, subject of the day. And uh, that's about it. So my goal with all these videos, and all my videos really, is to not just teach you how, but to teach you the why. And more importantly, I think, to teach you the more advanced way of thinking and approaching code, freelancing, business, general life, etc. I'm much older than most people on this platform. You know, I'm 269 years old. So with that age comes a lot of experience, a lot of mistakes I've made, a lot of things I've done well. So what I try to do here is I try to give you what I would like to have heard when I was much younger. If I could go back in time and talk to 19-year-old staff or 25-year-old staff and say, tick, 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 do this, don't do that, do that, do that for sure, that was good, that's not, that's not bad, I could save you a lot of headaches. So instead of you having to spend 10, 15, 20 years to gain this experience and per perceptions of reality, whether it be in the coding field, the business field, the freelancing field, etc. If you watch these videos, you will be able to uh, get ahead of the game. And in fact, people on YouTube have cited how, in fact, by following my advice and going into the workplace and applying my way of thinking, senior devs were very impressed with the, their more advanced appreciation and understanding of the software development game. And this applies to all aspects of life. Anyhow, if you like the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, by sharing it, uh, by tweeting about it, something like that. It's good for me. There's no lie about that. But the more feedback I get from you guys, the more I, I lean in a particular direction. And that's about it. So here we go. We're going to continue with these commentary videos where I talk about various subjects, uh, various articles that are put out by Various websites, sometimes uh, not too accurate. I find I found a few, and one place was calling uh, Java a framework. I don't know if those are typo, but of course it's not a framework; it's a language. But so there's a lot of misinformation out there. But I'm going to help correct as well, I think. And uh, there you have it. Talk soon. Bye bye.